Hello everyone and welcome back to Melanie's Nail Creations. Today we are going to be doing a dream catcher nail design. And some of the products that you will be needing are of course your base coat, a purple polish, and some striper polishes, a pink, a purple, black, white, and a glitter polish. You're also going to need a dyeing tool and these are some of the colors that I use for the dots. You're going to start off with your base coat, of course, to protect your nails. And then you're going to go on with that pretty purple polish. This one is from Candies. I'll list everything uh, down below. You're going to start off with the dream catcher. And you're going to draw a half moon shape um, towards the base of your nail. And then after that, you're going to draw a little circle right in the middle. And you're going to connect um, lines from the half moon to that little circle. Kind of like a piece of pie. Um, that's what it will look like at the end. And don't worry if you mess up or make any mistakes or the lines are too close. Um, I accidentally did that and I made a line way too close to the others. So to fix it, I just made more lines and it came out perfectly fine. Then you're going to draw three lines coming down from the dream catcher. Then you're going to do this, this uh, dream catcher design as well on the ring finger as well. You're going to draw the half moon shape, but this time instead of starting with a little circle in the middle, I decided to do three X's connect, being connected um, in, the, in the middle of that half moon shape. And I did this dream catcher design on the ring finger and on the pointer finger. And then you're going to just draw three lines again hanging from down from the dream catcher. Now we're going to start off with the dots and these dots that I am doing in three different colors are representing the beads that would be the design on your dream catcher. And the colors that I used for the dots are a light orange coral color, a light pretty teal blue color, and then I also used a light pink color for the dots as well, representing the beads. I originally started off with a reddish pinkish color um, instead of doing a light pink and it didn't look so well to me at least as you can see here and then I went back and and I covered all those red reddish pinkish color beads with a lighter pink um, polish and I think in the end it looked a lot better and the colors um, blended much more perfectly than having that pop of pink red color on there. And then I just went in with that little circle that we made and I did four dots around it to make it pop. And then I did three white dots um, where the X's are connected. Then I just went back in and I covered some of the black lines with some glitter. And so it doesn't overpower the black lines or anything. It's very light, very subtle. Now we're moving on to the feather, and for the feather what I did was I always start off with the stem, and then I go from there and make the lines for the feather. What I did was, um, which I thought was kind of a cool idea, I did half of the feather black and I did the other half white, instead of doing the whole feather just one color. Um, I thought it looked a lot um, cooler, much prettier, uh, doing two colors together. I just went back in here and kind of went in and did some pink little dots on the edges of the dream catcher just to make it pop a little bit more. And then on the pinky we're going to do another feather and I did half purple and half pink. The pink polish that I'm using it has a pop of glitter mixed in with it so um, it definitely makes the feather pop. 
I did this to feather design on the, the middle finger, the pinky finger, and the thumb. So on the middle finger, if you remember, I did half black and half white feather. And then on the pinky, I did a half purple and half pink feather. And now on the thumb, I start off by doing a half black and a half white. But then I also include the purple and the pink as well. So I did all four colors um, on my thumb. And I think it came out really nicely in the end. As you can see right now, I am putting that pretty pink glitter polish over the black, and I think it gives it a nice pop of color. It looks really nice over the black. And then I did the same thing on the other side. I did the purple over the white, and I think it um, came out really nicely. The colors blended so well. I just went in on the pinky, and I did the stem in black. Um, just to make it pop more and um, you can notice it more. Then I went in with some glitter down the stem just to give it a little pop of color and make it stand out. I did the same thing on the pinky. And don't forget to protect your design with a top coat. And that is it. You are all done. I hope you guys really liked this design. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe too. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.